What's going on guys? Zane here with Navac. Gonna go over a couple things with our N2DX Flex Gauge. It's our new product here and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks. Also gonna go over how to calibrate it, why calibrating your gauges are important, and some of my personal preferences. First tip I'm gonna give you, if you like gauges, stay using gauges. We're gonna go over what's important about calibrating these gauges, how to calibrate these gauges, and more than likely what you're gonna see if you go into the calibration mode and you go back out without actually calibrating it correctly. So, let's get into it. Yep, that's me. Six o'clock on a Friday, after working all week, come home, the house is hot, the wife's mad. All I wanna do is sit on my lazy boy. Grab my gauges and head out to the unit. Start hooking my hoses up to the unit. And I notice when I actually turn my flexes on, hooked up to the unit, I'm reading negative 30. There's pressure on both ports. The gauges aren't broke. They just need calibrated. Now let's talk about it. All right, guys. First things first. We got to get any residual refrigerant or nitrogen out of our hoses. We got to clear the manifold body. You're going to need two quarter inch service caps. You're going to need a nitrogen bottle with a regulator. The regulator needs to be able to be adjusted to 3000 kPa. 3000 kPa equals 435 psi or 30 bar. Here's me putting my caps on the high side and the low side. I prefer using the caps just so I don't have hoses, you know, beating and banging around while I'm trying to actually calibrate this. So I put them on, snug them finger tight, and now we're going to go over the calibration mode. So here's just two examples. You could see OL or you could see the gauge doing this. The gauge is bouncing around, it's going into a vacuum, and there's nothing hooked up on it. What do we do? We calibrate it. Here's how we do it. The first part of the calibration step is the zero bar calibration. What you want to do is turn your manifold off and open your low side and your high side valves. This exposes the valve body to atmospheric pressure. Hold the power button and your dial button for about three seconds and you'll see OK key when zero bar is ready. What you want to do is make sure both valves are open. Caps are on. Hit the OK button, which is your dial button. Once you hit it, you'll read zero bar calibrating. Let this happen for 30 to 45 seconds. When you're finished, tap the OK button again. The next screen you'll see is OK key when 30 bar ready. Turn both your high side and low side valves off. Get your nitrogen and hook it up to your service port. What we're going to do is put pressure on the manifold body to 30 bar, 3000 kPa, or 435 PSI. After you made sure your nitrogen regulator is backed all the way out, start turning it clockwise to increase the pressure to 3000 kPa. Open your high side and your low side, and then click OK. Once you hit the OK button, you'll see two windows. They'll be grayed out. Click OK one more time to make sure they're green. This is an indicator that the 30 bar calibration has started. Let it sit for 30 to 40 seconds. Once you're done, just hit power off, remove your nitrogen, open the high and low side gauges. This bleeds the nitrogen from the valve body. Once you're done, turn the power button on and it should read zero PSI. Now we know our gauge is zeroed out to atmospheric pressure. Let's actually test it with pressure. Hook your nitrogen back up and close your valve. Adjust your regulator to 435 and open each valve individually. What I like to do to actually make sure they're completely balanced is shut the nitrogen off, open both high and low side, and they should look like this. Now most of the time when we hear this complaint about them being out of calibration, it's likely because somebody accidentally entered the calibration menu and tried to hit OK a couple times and get out of it. If you ever find yourself in the calibration menu and want to get out of it, just hold the power button for three seconds and it will exit the calibration menu without affecting the gauges. So remember guys, we only work if our tools work. Zane with Navac, we'll catch y'all on the next one.